Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to another Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, I did some more exploring, which is kind of the theme of this game so far, but it's not a bad theme. I like it. This time, we're going to be going to Hiteno Village, but not after I blow up this rock wall, and also head to the top of that waterfall, because while I did say that the exploration was done, I, I realized that I saw the waterfall, said I wanted to climb up climb up it, and then promptly forgot. So, we're going to be heading there now, and then going to, to Hateno Village, because there is a quest that I would like to complete. Uh, this guy was admiring the innkeeper, or the innkeeper's daughter, or what, whatever, and he wanted to give her something, and he asked us what that something could be. So, we're going to be helping him out with that, but then afterwards? I'm not sure. I would like to do some more exploring, but I also want to explore non-story areas. So, like, we know where all the Divine Beasts are, or we have a, an, an inkling of where they are, but we we don't want to just be doing that, because if I complete the story, or come to the point of no return, and then I have, you know, I have side quests to do for the rest of this adventure, that's not really fun for you guys to watch, so I like to pace it out so that people who get s who want story and people who want just exploration get an equal amount of both. All right, so we're at the waterfall in question. So let's equip my Zora equipment and my climber's bandana because that thing is always useful and swim over to the waterfall. One of those areas that I would like to explore that doesn't have much to do with the story yet is the the plains leading up to Hyrule Castle. I guess Hyrule Field if it's called that. Always, always stood out to me because it's one of those areas that looks like it would be a beginner area. I mean, it's it's Hyrule F Field. That's one of the first areas you usually come to. But it's leading up to what I can assume is the final area being Hyrule Castle. So, I don't know what the, they're going to introduce there. Uh, let me make sure that there is nothing magnetic in the water. No, there is nothing. Just an Octorok. So it, it stands out to me, and I, I want to see what's over there. Maybe there are some live guardians, I don't know. Uh, and also, while I'm at it, this is kind of, it's kind of becoming a chore that I have to summon him every single time, but I do like having Wolf with me. It, it gives me some companionship where, where Hart lacks, like Hart can't go anywhere, or can't go everywhere. He can only go, you know, in kind of gentle inclines, but Wolf Link can actually go everywhere. Okay, so what is up here for me? What am what am I here for? There has to be something cool. Maybe some let's go to the top of that peak and if there's nothing up there then I can always glide down, but that seems like a good a good destination. And it doesn't look that cold because there's no snow. So I can always check. One thing that kind of weirded me out is that mountains actually aren't that cold. Uh, I I just recently went hiking up on uh, Mount Rainier? No, St. Helens. Yeah, it was St. Helens, which is the, uh, in case you don't know your history, it was the mountain that blew its top uh, back a number of years ago. And so I was hiking up there, and there was snow on the ground, but it was like 70 degrees, and it, or 60 degrees, and it was really cool. But uh, this is definitely taking me back to that. It, it, was, it was kind of sad. There was a... Uh, a really blue lake, and there's the cold, okay. There's a really blue lake there, and <clears throat> the entire time, uh, Nova and I were were po thinking, like, that we could glide down and there's a shrine there, just because of the island. It just, Breath of the Wild has changed things, and now we, we see things in terms of shrines and not shrines. All right, let's eat some roasted bass. Climb up here. Is there anything at the top of this this mountain? I'm kind of cold, but not freezing. Okay, there's a stone, which has a Korok on it. Okay, neat. And that is actually my, that's that's Elma from from Wind Waker. That's the same kind of Korok. All right. So where did we come from? We went came from here. Okay. Well, let's let's fly back down. Sorry, Wolf Link. You won't be able to keep up. There's Death Mountain over there. And then there's this weird forest down here. That's interesting. 
And it's an easy shortcut to get there, too. Huh. Wolf Link must have returned to his own world. So I guess if Wolf Link can't follow us, then he just despawns. I guess that's how that works. Alright. Let's fall down here. Oh, there's... Ooh, hello. Well, I'm being rewarded for this. There is a boss. Now, can I walk in this water? Like, is it shallow? No. Oh, so this boss... Ooh, boy. Uh, first, let's equip our stealth gear. Tr try and get a good first hit in on him. And then we'll switch over to our armor. This is kind of weird. Uh, there's very limited space for me to fight this thing on. Here, let's switch over to Cryonis just in case I need a platform quickly. This is... This is kind of weird. This guy's clearly a boss. But... Ugh. This is odd to me. Now, what, what would be my strongest hit? My strongest first hit. It would be the knight's bow. And then a lightning arrow to the head? That seems... Unless I can get a stealth attack in on him, which I doubt. But I'll see. If I can get a stealth attack, then I'll go for that, but... I really doubt I'd be able to do that on a boss. Yeah, okay, so there's no prompt for that. Actually, wait. Maybe I need to take out my weapon. No. Alright, so... I do indeed need to shoot this guy right in the head to start off this battle. Alright. I think I'm at a decent range. Let's get a headshot for free. And then get some good attacks. Alright, there's our, our first weapon broken. Uh, I can go for a claymore. Actually, no. Let's go for the Thunderblade. Stealth, or, uh, stun him. Whoa! Oh! He's slow, but I bet that would insta-kill me. Okay, and now, actually... Well, now that I'm actually fighting him, uh, let's switch over to my normal gear. Uh, Hylian Trousers, there we go. He's taking some substantial damage from this. Don't kick me or punch me. He, he hurt my body. I need an adult. Alright, uh, let's just down some roast bass. Alright, hey buddy. Um, let's... Let's shoot some arrows at his eye there. Because that thing is exposed for a reason. Charge up our weapon. Cool. Big damage. Alright, let's shoot him in the eye again. Nope. Oh, ow. I'm not able to... I'm swimming. This is not a good place to be. I don't want to be in the water. Okay. Hey, buddy. Okay, he's covering his head now. Oh, wow. He is accurate with that. That, uh, hand of his... Oh, I didn't mean to eat that, but that's fine. Alright, get out my shield here. Maybe shield bash him, or get a, a flurry rush. Oh, or not, alright. Uh, this guy actually seems pretty easy. Let's get a sidestep here. There we go. And... Neat! Get a quick combo off. And he's dead. That that was really easy. That almost makes me feel like he's supposed to be one of the first bosses we face. Huh. A toenail. Splendid. And some fruit. And tr uh, yeah, that's this is definitely an introductory boss because he gave us he gave us traveler's weapons. And actually I'm going to take some of the traveler stuff. Because I can hold them. I mean, at the very least, there's things I can throw at my enemy. Alright, so that was a battle. Uh, we need to eventually go to Hateno Village. I think we have exhausted everything here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I do not want to fight a Lionel right now. So, I guess we really are going to Hateno Village. Well, let, let's just warp over there right now. All right, so starting off our our visit, or our return to Taino Village, Para mentioned how we can upgrade our runes by talking to her with uh with like div or not divine beast uh guardian 
items in our inventory, like the 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 screws and the the cores and stuff. The ancient material, yeah, ancient materials. So I can upgrade my things. So, which room would you like to power up? Interesting. Uh, I actually want to power up the Sheikah sensor because I I actually found out what that does. So it's the one thing I know, I know, the return. So let's power that up. Let's upgrade stasis because I I like that ability. Three ancient cores. Cool. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I don't have the necessary materials. Okay, well, what, whatever. So can I upgrade the remote bomb then? Ancient shafts? I'm not sure if I have... Oh, I, I have enough. All right. Hey, ho, got it. Okay, remote bomb upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Powered up bombs now have a stronger blast and recharge faster. The force of the blast can damage monsters or destroy objects. They're round and cube bombs, so use whatever best fits the situation. Okay, so basically what I assumed is they're just better bombs. There's nothing there's nothing weird to them. Like, I can't use remote bomb arrows. Although that would be so cool. I, I can't use that. Alright, I think that those are all the upgrades I can I can do. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any more upgrades, but I do have a powered up bomb and powered up sensor, which is pretty neat. All right, well, I guess I'll just per peruse. I guess I'll just browse the the town a little bit more. Make sure that there are no quests that need done. Oh, hello. Speaking of the devil, which the devil is not mentioned, but speaking of him, she has a quest. Good day. You're the Traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those three trees on top of that snowy mountain there? Uh, I see... One, two... I assume the third one is behind this tree. So sure, yes. Oh, she's showing me now. Oh, neat. Oh, alright. I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said, when the three summit trees become one... Turn your back to them and head towards the sea. The trial, a trial encased in stone walls awaits you there. I don't know what that means, but maybe it means we have to head to Afro, Af Afromsia Coast, which is just east of those trees on the mountain. For the trial encased in stone bit, I wonder if you get some kind of treasure for doing that. If I have a child, I just can't go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do that, right? You'd be great at that. Go on, head out there and bring us back that treasure. Alright, that is definitely what we're going to be doing now. Uh, but before I go there, I would like to go back to the dye shop and see if I can dye any of my sweet clothes. <laughs> Welcome, if you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe. You found the right place. Who do you do? Welcome to Koji Dye Shop, where we live to dye. Here we go, for 20 rupees total, I'll dye your clothes here to the color of your choosing. Or would you like to get back to square one and change your clothes back to their original color? Yeah, I'll dye them. Now, go wait up there. I'll be just a minute. <laughs> Another great day to dye that whole outfit at once. Alright, choose your dye color to go or go ahead and change clothes. Uh, I'd like to change clothes over to my stealth gear. Because this is, like I said, like I've said so many times, this is the gear of my choosing. I want to play a stealthy character. And so if I could make this a little bit more my own, I would be, I would be happy. Uh, so let's choose a color. You know what? Let's go sage. That looks good. I, I like that. Choose five ingredients you like using your dye. Uh, this, that, and these. That seems good. Will that actually work though? Thanks for the business. Here we go. Oh, is he just gonna- oh, he's gonna drop us into, a, like, a, a pot. That's so good. Did it work? Or did we get some weird mistake? No, it worked. Cool. <laughs> Yahoo! You, you, we made something very special here, if I do say so myself. You look great. Do you find this palatable? If you- if you want to do a re-dye, just let me do, know. Neat, so now we're- we're green. I'm happy with that. Alright, now onto that mountain. They say, when the three 
things are as one the three trees so there's a tree here there's the tree here and here so I need to go to Aframja coast I guess which was going to be a, quite a trek and I may have to cook something in order to make that trip so one of the things I found out and this is a benefit of both the comment section and an entire family who plays Zelda but there was a side quest I actually missed out on and it was one that was that would give me some way to be able to weather the mountains which yes that's a pun but let's look, just look past that and the way to complete the quest was apparently to fix a warm meal uh, in the presence of the King of Hyrule but th I didn't do that I missed out on the quest mainly because I thought that what he wanted us, or the reward that he's going to give us, the warm doublet, was warm doublé, which sounded like a food to me. So I was just like, oh, I can just make my own food. So instead, I was going to come back here and see if maybe the king was still there, but what I found was a chest. And I assume that within this chest is the warm doublet. It is! Alright. Good. Which I needed that to be able to weather the storm. Uh, yes... I just want to make sure that, I just want to make sure that this is new text. Perhaps deceiving you was not the right thing to do. Still, you must admit I put on a great performance. But all joking aside, what I ask of you is of the utmost importance, dear hero. I implore you with all my heart, defeat Calamity again and save my precious daughter Zelda. I understand this is no simple task I'm asking of you, but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can do it. I do not doubt it for a moment. I see courage in your eyes, just as I did 100 years ago. I believe in you, Link. Ah oh, yes, one more thing. I have left the warm doublet here as a gift of sorts. I'm sure it'll be useful on your journey. You can weather the cold with cooking alone, but I caution against it. There is no time for recklessness. We are all counting on you. Alright, now let's head up to the mountain. Okay, we gave this, this trek a shot a while back. But I'm ready to give it another one. This time, though, I'm equipped with the warm doublet. Doublet, duble. You can actually, please correct me in the comments because I'm not sure which one is which. Uh, the climber's bandana, but also, actually no. Once I get there, I am going to see if using my my uh, cold resistance food that I prepared off screen is required. So far, so good. Okay, so I am cold. But I don't think it's something that I can't salvage. So let's use our spicy fish skewer. Is that enough? Yes. Yes, it is. Barely. It's barely enough. Even though we're probably in sub-zero degree weather here, uh, I think it's it's enough for me to, to survive. So our goal is to get these three trees in a line. And east of them is some sort of treasure, so I need to make great use of my time with this final quest of the episode. There's also a shrine nearby, which I will discover, but I won't go inside because it would be wasting my, my cold resistance. Uh, let's sneak up on this this guy. Oh, he turned his head at me. Whoa, nice try, but I, I saw that coming. Oh man, he has a good sword. I assume this will instantly kill him. Yep. How did I know? Elemental weaknesses are a thing that I need to pay attention to. Uh, uh, fire arrows will most likely instantly kill anything here, including that wolf. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, speaking of wolf, it would be quite useful if I had my wolf. Awesome. Howdy, howdy Link. How, how's it going? Uh, and also, I should probably mark on the map where I need to go. Let's go there. Alright, so I'm heading this way. It, that do actually doesn't really help me because I don't have... I don't have my mini-map up, which I, I disabled that a number of episodes ago. And honestly, I haven't missed it. The game feels just as good or, or just as coherent without it. Okay, there's... What is that? Is that a I What is 
that? Is that a divine? P no. That is weird. We need to be check. We need to check that out someday. All right. So, are they in line right now? I'd assume they would be. It's kind of hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I don't see any of those trees. Uh, but I can go a little bit higher just to get a better view. And Link will be, or Wolf will be very useful for us, killing a, a bird. And now once, oh wait, there are the trees. So I'm actually going out of line here. Yeah, so uh, there are all three trees. So I need to go that way up to that peak. All right, that sounds good. Now, once my cold resistance is is gone, I will be downing a hasty potion so I can run faster, and then I'll just continually down health items to stay alive. Because I am I am invested in this quest. This is the first time that I've been able to go on on this mountain and not freeze to death. That's odd. Why is it just suddenly green here? That's a bit weird. Uh, adventure log. Secret of the Cedars. There's no legend about the thing. When they become one, turn your back to them and head towards the sea. Alright, so... Let's head up to that ridge. I don't think I need to go there. I, th I think for the most part I've solved the puzzle, but... Still, let's, let's just do the puzzle as they intended. I have ten seconds left. Hopefully I don't instantly die once the time runs out, or else I'll have to go get some more peppers and then come back. There it goes. Uh, I, I told myself also I was going to down an elixir, which would be this. Cool. All right, so let's move very quickly here. How much damage am I going to take? Only half a heart. Okay, that's that's not bad. All right, so they are currently in line. Yes, they are indeed in line. And so, we're heading this way, correct? We're heading... Yes. We're heading this way. They are in line. Now they are. So we'll head directly away. Fly this way and go to the coast. Which, it looks like we're heading towards a shrine, which... Sounds like... That, that sounds like it lines up with what that woman said. She mentioned there's a, a trial encased in stone. So I assume there's some sort of stone enclosure. Oh, it's a blessed butterfly! Uh, there's a, some sort of stone enclosure that is surrounding a shrine. Taking a little bit of damage here. I'm close to it. Is it down here? I think it's... Is there a cave? This looks like... Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, I need to keep an eye on my health. But otherwise, let's just head in as quickly as possible. This looks like the shrine. Alright. Now, as I headed in here, uh, the quest came up and said that it was complete. So this is indeed where I needed to go. And it's another one of the, the blessing shrines. Climbing boots! That is... That is nice! Wow! So these will match our... Our climbing bandana. These rock climbing boots have special no-slip toes that allow you to cling to walls. This ancient technology facilitates more nimble climbing. Well, that's what you get for completing quests, guys and gals! Neat! Alright, let's head out of here. Alright, and that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. We made a good amount of progress, but not all the progress I wanted to make in uh, Hateno Village. There was another quest that I bumped into, and there are other things to do while here. So we're going to be doing those next episode. That was weird. And we might also go up there and, and get that weird button and that little side quest thing out of the way. That The thing where I had to fly through a bunch of uh, Superman hoops to get, get rewards. I may do that as well. 
But that is going to be it. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. I'm also let's playing Pikmin 2, although I'm not sure how close that's getting to completion. But I'm let's playing Pikmin 2 at the moment, which is a really good series. It's a childhood game of mine. Uh, I've played a lot of it as opposed to this game, which I am playing completely blind. So it's a whole different dynamic. You guys should check it out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Join me in uh, the next video. I just thought of something. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. I wasn't able to actually properly do the fight, but I can now. But I'm choosing not to. I'll show you why. <sighs> Purples are dumb. Oh, here, wait. Yep, yep. We're surfing. Go, go, go. Run. Fly. 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 Oh, come on. 